In the news at the moment, there is a lot of information and uh, things floating around about transporting goods with drones, uh, wow. especially in Asia. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that and and do you see them coming to Australia? Is this our new mode of Sci-fi, the logistics? <laughs> uh, it's all very futuristic. Uh, I have to say I, I'm very sceptical about uh, drone deliveries uh, for a number of reasons. We've had drones come through for mm-hmm. our different filming um, uh, and inside uh, our warehouse, uh, some for uh, uh, checks of the roof and that, they're, they're useful for engineering, mm-hmm. that type of thing. Uh, but we found uh, that they're affected by um, uh, radio signals. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a drone fly in and it was one of the bigger TV stations that had a drone come in here for someone that was doing a promo. And the, the whole drone crashed because one of our guys used his hand scanner. Yes. And our antenna cut the signal to the drone and it just buried itself. Uh, and I mean, it was a pretty, you know, one of the big networks is drones. So I don't think they were quite happy when that uh, <laughs> dusted itself off on the concrete floor. But it shows that they are susceptible uh, to interference. And particularly where we are here in Heatherton, we're close to Moorabbin Airport. And there are all sorts of uh, flight restrictions yes. and height restrictions mm-hmm. that would uh, prohibit um, the use of uh, drones. And, and I have to say, my own personal view is uh, I'd hate to think there's hundreds of thousands of drones flying around Australia over our roofs, over our backyards with cameras and, you know, just privacy. Yeah. How are they going to cut through all that? Um, uh, look, there, there might be something there, but... Uh, I just don't think that technology is there yet. Um, uh, geofencing and interference with, uh, you know, power lines and different sort of signals from bigger yeah. antennas and especially some of the big ones in the city that would put a pulse through the air and send yep. the drone down. Um, and then, yeah, misuse of, of, a, of a, this type of technology, I'd have to be say I'm a little bit fearful of it. Yep. Um, and we did see, um, it was only a few years ago, that uh, drone attack uh, on Heathrow Airport. Yes, I mean, that's right. And that was a that was a one-off. But just imagine if there's a hundred thousand of them out there being controlled by who knows what. I mean, uh, maybe I'm just getting too old. But for me, uh, I'd rather not see it. No, it seems <laughs> like the risk is quite as a lot oh, bigger than what. Uh, we got enough. We got enough trouble on the roads with cars and drones up above us as well. <laughs> I mean, and then people driving. Oh, there's a guy's a drone. And what's yeah, going to that's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's look. Look, maybe there might be some specialised uh, need or use for it, mm-hmm. maybe in isolated country areas, uh, maybe when there's, there's nothing else or it's really hard to get through. But certainly for, um, you know, search and rescue, absolutely, 100%. Um, yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, well, we'll see what every happens. Every day used to for my pizza coming. I like the guy in a motorcycle delivering <laughs> yeah. my, my pizza or my food, whatever. Uh, but outside of that, uh, yeah, not really. I don't think so. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, eh? see what happens. See how that unfolds.